Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm once again looking at the world of Stable Diffusion, but this time I'm delving into the world of prompts. What words work? Which words don't? What happens when you do things? Alright, let's find out. So, to start off with, I've just run the same prompt twice. A cyberpunk cat wearing a steampunk hat. I'm using the same seed for everything. Basically, it's the same settings for absolutely everything. I'm just changing a few words. So here we can see on the left, We've got the first one on the right. There we've got the second ones. We've got zero and one. These are the same prompts. So as we can see, there's absolutely no difference. If you use the same seed and the same text, you will get deterministic output. It will be exactly the same. This is brilliant because it helps us see exactly what has changed. What has changed is I'm adding these words. So this is the impact of just these words. We've got the standard on the left. That's our baseline. And then on the right, we're going to have which things have changed. So let's see what happens with this first one, which is focused. So does it make the image more focused? No. Has it changed the image? Yes, it does. So as you can see, they're very, very similar. But now we've got like extra squiggles in there, whereas we don't have squiggles on that one. The hat is a different shape. The eyes are different. So there's very definite changes in there, but it hasn't actually done what we would expect the word to do. It isn't any more focused. All right, so how about the word sharp? Has it made the images any more sharp? Don't know. Not that I can tell. Perhaps a little bit. It certainly changed the images. You know, that, that cat's very different to that cat. That is not a person anymore there. That's a cat. So it's definitely changed the images, but has it made them more sharp? I don't think so. A little bit, maybe. It, 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 I think there is perhaps a little bit on that middle one. Seems to be a little bit more sharpness, but... Mm, it, if it is, I can barely notice the difference. Okay, how about the word painting? Yes, there we go. Painting very definitely makes them like paintings. That's more like a photograph. That is more like a painting. All of these are more like paintings than the ones on the left, the baseline that we've got. So yes, painting, quite a strong word, definitely has a change and has an effect on them, changes them all. How about chalk art? Again, yes, chalk art, definitely turn them all into chalk art. That one's as you can see, it's got the same sort of structure, but it's a chalk art version of it. So that's pretty cool. As you, these are, as you can see, like they're bits of paper on a table. So it's it's changed those quite a lot, quite a lot, and makes them look pretty cool. How about concept art? Does concept art make much of a difference? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. See, we've got similar structure again, but the concept art definitely changed that person. Definitely changed the one in the middle there. That one in the bottom left looks quite cool now. I do like that one. So it's, it's probably a medium strength word because some of them haven't changed very much. It's difficult to tell whether that would be concept art or not because it still looks a little bit like a photograph. So it does have some impact. It does have some impact. How about trend on, trending on ArtStation, our old favourite? Yes. Again, that has had a fairly significant change. It's probably a medium power word. It's not very strong. That person has changed into a sort of cat rabbit thing. Still got the, the basic structure there, but the ears have changed. The clothes are sort of very different. They look more realistic on there. Got some slightly more realistic clothes. That middle one completely changed. So it's, it's got a certain feel to it, but uh, again, not a particularly strong word. How about Canon M50? Yes, completely different. Those are definitely photographs. So I haven't used the word photograph. I've used the type of camera that would take the photograph. It has definitely changed them all into photographs. Again, kept the structure very similar for one of them, but for most of them, for the majority of them, they are very different. So that one's definitely a photograph. It stayed quite like a photograph. That one is definitely an illustration, completely different, but it's it's still got the this, this similar sort of structure. You can see the, the hat rim there. It's got the hat rim and the bit on the top there, but that one, no, no, completely different. So Canon M50 will turn it into a photograph. Definitely a very strong word. How about close up? Again, yes, we can see those are close ups for the most part. The one down the bottom there, it's, it seems to have also turned it more into a photograph, but it is it is closer. They are closer. These these ones on the right are definitely bigger. They're more zoomed in than the ones on the left. So close up does work. How about charcoal drawing? Yes, those are all charcoal drawings. Very, very powerful word there. That has utterly changed everything that the structure is is very different in all of them. They are now chalk drawings. Very, very, very strong word, chalk drawing. It recognises that quite a lot. How about the word intricate? Does that make it more intricate? I think so. I think so. doesn't seem to be a massively powerful word. It, it has got a lot of the, the similarities, but 
it it's definitely added more detail hasn't it there's there's more things going on around the hat that has got a background now that hat's got extra things on as a thing right so intricate also does indeed seem to work so that's one way that you can change your images just add a single word on the end see if it does make much of a difference and then you can tick that off in your box and go yes this is a, a weak medium or strong word and does it do what the word says or not all right so that's basically what you then do so you've got your, your single words and then you, you can build them up you can stack them on top of each other so then you get composites so like a charcoal drawing intricate concept art what does that look like yes we've got the charcoal drawing so yeah we, we knew that all of them would look like charcoal drawings because that's a very very powerful word concept art hasn't changed it very much intricate has so yeah we've We've definitely got intricate charcoal drawings there. All right, so let's have another, another look at another composite. So we've got Canon M50, close up, sharp and focused. Now we, we know that sharp and focused didn't necessarily do what we wanted it to, it didn't necessarily make it sharp and focused. It did change the image a little bit, but we also know that Canon M50 and close up were fairly powerful. So what do we expect out of that? Yes, indeed, we've got photographs that are quite close up, not necessarily sharp, not necessarily focused, but yes, all right. So. We're dealing with composites there. We've got our words from the first selection. We're building them up together to make the image that we want. Okay, so how about the order of words? Let's just change this up to 14. We'll move that on a bit. And we'll move this, whoops, we'll move that on to 14 as well. All right, so this is a cyberpunk cat wearing a steampunk hat, intricate painting. So we've got the cat wearing the hat first, and then we've got intricate, and then we've got painting. So has it made, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. So those, those are all paintings. All right. Okay, so that's that's the default. Now, if I move painting first and put intricate last and still got cyberpunk cat wearing a steampunk hat in the middle, does it make it more like a painting? Does it make it less like a painting? What does it do to it? Yes, indeed. So we've got intricate last there. And as you can see, these are actually less intricate and a little bit more like paintings. You can see definitely there on the face yeah, so it's it's sort of put the strength, it would seem, on the words that are closer to the start of your phrase. Let's double check that. So instead we'll put intricate first and then painting and then the cyberpunk cat. So we, we'd expect this makes it more intricate because we put intricate at the beginning rather than the end. Yes, it does. All right, so these are definitely more intricate, definitely changed it. We've got things going on there, lots and lots of lots of detail. So I think yes is the answer to that. The word order does matter. The things that you put closer to the beginning of the sentence seem, it would seem on, at first glance, to have more strength applied to them. All right, how about punctuation? So let's let's move this up a little bit to 17. Let's move them on to 17. Okay, so this is a cyberpunk hat wearing a steampunk hat, comma, intricate, comma, painting. Okay, and then this next one, all we've changed all we've changed here is we've put a full stop on the end. Yes, there. It has made quite a significant change to some of them. So it's added backgrounds to these bottom two. Uh, that one doesn't seem to have changed very much. Uh, that one, again, doesn't seem to have changed very much. But the these ones have. You've got a little, missing a thing there. And his, his hat's different. It's got a different thing on there. This one is completely different. So yes, punctuation does make a difference, but perhaps a little bit difficult to tell what it's going to do. So how about if we add three full stops on the end? So we've got three full stops on the end. Yes, again, completely different <laughs> to one full stop. The, uh, the, the, the cat down there has, as you can see, completely changed its face. That one, the background seems to have got stronger. The face has changed again, but yeah. So just, just adding more punctuation onto the end seems to change it. Mm, okay, all right, how about if we take some punctuation out? So this is intricate painting. So rather than intricate comma painting, like on the left, we've got just intricate painting. And again, we can see, yes, just taking the comma out has also changed it. So we've got a slightly less intricate hat. That hat has differences. This cat is now completely zoomed in. So yeah, even, even taking a comma out has, has changed what's going on. All right, so there we go. So we've got a lot of lot of things to, to to build on there. You can add your words onto the end. You can use the same C to make sure 
you know what's going on. Punctuation makes a difference. Word order seems to make a difference as well. Let's just have a look at one last little thing here. So we've got the scale. So we'll keep 17 there and we'll move on to 21 up here. So this is scale 10, this is scale 15. Can you see much of a difference in the scale 15? I can personally. It, it seems to it seems to be quite good. It seems to be quite good there. Yeah, yeah. But how about if we move to 20? Okay, I think between 15 and 20, we are indeed starting to get the colours a little bit overblown. They seem to be a little bit blurry now as well. How about if we move the scale up even more? So yeah, there we're on scale 25. Scale 25, again, the colours starting to get really overblown and there's scale 30 so quite quite blurry quite overblown but it also changes the uh, also changes the image quite a lot so there we've got a completely different pose on the cat got different hats so playing with the scale you could probably maybe counteract the uh, the overblown colors with some text prompts as well so you may be able to push the scale up a little bit higher but there you go okay so a little bit of prompt engineering loads of fun uh do Tell me what words you've discovered. What what words are strong? What words are weak? What what words make the the most massive change to your art? Do let me know down in the comments. But that is rodent out for now.